Hi, and welcome to Simple Spirituality PH. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Regine. I am an intuitive tarot reader, I'm a Reiki healer, and an overall light worker. And before we dive into today's episode, which is the weekly reading of October 25 to, let me check the calendar, to 31, I would like to invite everyone who would like to receive notifications of my new videos to so please hit the subscribe button below. If you like this video later on, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, you want to say hey, just comment down below. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me, online for now, of course, we'll hear the details. Alrighty. So let's get to the meat of the video. Now, I apologize for my setting. As you can see, my stereo in the background, I didn't cover it up today. Um, it was a very low-key day today, and I decided to just, you know, just relax on some of the things that I usually uh, don't relax on. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So hello to my stereo in the background. And I've already pre-shuffled the card, and today I used the good tarot. Yes, I used the good tarot. And we get, this is the card that we received for this week. I apologize for my nails as well. It is the, I don't know if you can see it there. It is the Nine of Air. Nine of Air. Now, this is a beautiful deck. Uh, I know that not a lot of people resonate with it, but I am one of those people that do, who do. So I love this deck so much. And so the main message that I'm receiving this week is really all about your own thoughts basically your own thoughts your own ideas and this has actually been been a running theme throughout this entire week if you do follow my instagram uh at simple spirituality page you'll see that in my stories and in my um posts my daily posts for the t for tarot readings you'll find that this has actually been a it, it's been a running theme throughout the the previous week actually not this week the previous week and it's all about you know your ideas it's all about your thoughts mainly all about your thoughts majority majority of it is all about your thoughts and the quality of thoughts that you have the kinds of thoughts that you have and what kind of um what kind of importance do you give it if you give it importance at all so the main message that I'm getting for this week is for you to really honor your thoughts and purify your thoughts as much as you can. Now, you all know me, I am a conscious manifester, and it does follow in manifesting that we constantly, for the people who consciously manifest at least, we constantly purify our thoughts, we constantly look at our thoughts and see if they are aligned with the things that we want. Now, this isn't just for conscious manifestors. You know, if you are not consciously manifesting anything, you still need to purify your thoughts. You still need to be on top of your thoughts. Because most of the time, what we do as humans is we fall to the trap of going to the default of negativity. And this is usually for, um, one of the most common examples that I can think of off the top of my head is uh, when it comes to work or when it comes to money. So this kind of purification of your thoughts is really the difference between choosing a thought of I don't have money today and versus I'm glad for whatever kind of money that I have, you know? So it goes with the same with with all of the other aspects of life. You know, you can always choose the thought that will get you closer and closer to a good feeling closer and closer to that that more positive spectrum closer and closer to the actual thing that you want you know um marissa peer tells us marissa peer is um a hypnotherapist she's one of the best hypnotherapists in the entire world marissa peer tells us that uh our minds go to what is familiar all the time so she's, so she's talking about the kind of like psychological sense in this in this case so our minds go to what is familiar and most of the time actually 99 percent of the time humans were kind of like brainwashed i guess for survival not just um in modern day age but in the as well as the in the olden ages older ages <laughs> so uh, in the past rather we have been programmed to always 
um, expect danger, expect negativity, because this was for survival. This was for um, this was the difference between getting getting eaten by a bear versus staying alive, you know. But nowadays, we don't see random bears like running around and like, attacking us or anything like that. We don't see tigers running around. We don't we don't need to be vigilant anymore. We don't need to expect negativity. We don't need to expect something negative to happen to us so that we can respond uh just like that you know so we don't have those kinds of threats anymore and still our bodies our minds are so used to it that it encompasses all of those generations and we've brought them up with us until today so that's what we mean by our minds seeking what is familiar um it's in the dna it's in the programming uh and it's in social media, it's in everything our, um, what do you call this? It's in everything that our mind absorbs, basically. But, again, this week, the universe is telling us to, okay, now that you know this, now that you know that the default of the human mind is to look for what is wrong and to anticipate what is negative and to anticipate something bad happening to us. Now that you know this, this is now your new baseline. You know that you are prone to that. What can you do about it? Do you get my drift? So it's not, now that you know this piece of information, it's not an excuse anymore to tell yourself, oh, but that was my default. You already know that. It's like seeing the sky uh, turn into gray and not bringing, a, not bringing an umbrella. You know, you're just really asking for it. So <laughs> that, that's what I usually use, uh, that, that phrase. So this week, and the journal prompt for this week as well is, how can you pur purify your thoughts? How best can you purify your thoughts? I want you to write down a kind of like a promise letter to yourself that whenever you get a negative thought, a negative um, feeling, I want you to go down to the root of it. Don't deny it. Don't swipe it away just yet, but also don't give in to it. So I want you to analyze what that is, where that's coming from, and write a letter to yourself that is the opposite of that. If you're fearing something, write the opposite of that. If you are angry at something, then write an apology letter or write, write a forgiveness letter, which is very, very powerful, actually. If you are, if you feel like you have been talking crap about yourself, write a letter to yourself about how much better you want to be for yourself. Or write a promise letter to yourself of how you're going to commit to yourself and really do yourself better and really show up for yourself, okay? That is the main message of this week. Um, a lot of us, we sweep aside all of our thoughts, not knowing that they are so powerful, they create our universe, that they create our world, so to speak, and literally, actually. And so we need to take care of them. We need for our negative thoughts to be separate from us, we need them to dissolve, and we need to let our minds roam free in the world of positive thinking, in the world of making things happen for us, in the world of showing up for ourselves using our minds. Okay, so that was a very deep reading this week, and the universe really, really wants to emphasize that. I hope that was helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or suggestions you want to say hey, just comment down below. If you would like to receive new notifications of my new videos, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me, online for now, of course. Well, here are the details. And I will see you guys next time. Stay happy, stay healthy, and ciao for now.